thought this morning is taken from Luke 1, verses 67 to 80, Zechariah's Song. His father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he said through his holy prophets of long ago. Salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. The oath he swore to our father Abraham to rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins, because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven, to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the path of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he lived in the wilderness until he appeared publicly to Israel. So just imagine yourself in Zechariah's shoes. You've been visited by an angel and promised a son, despite your wife Elizabeth being beyond childbearing years. This is a cause to celebrate. But because you doubted, your lips have been made dumb for nine months. You've been itching to tell people about it, but can't. Then the great day arrives, your son is born and you can speak. And what does Zechariah say? What is the message he is so desperate to get out? Well, Zechariah's song is a wonderful hymn of both praise and prophecy. It's a song of praise for God because God has done what he promised years before, to provide salvation, i.e. rescue, for Israel. This would mean to the Israelites deliverance from her enemies, the hated Roman rulers. They have been looking forward to that for many, many hard years. In his praise, Zechariah reminds his listeners that God keeps his promises. It's as simple as that. God would not and did not fail the Israelites. And it's a song of prophecy describing what John's role was to prepare the way for the Saviour, the Messiah, Jesus. John, although he came before Jesus and was his older cousin, was given the task to prepare the way for the Lord. He was to remind the Israelites, and hence us, of how far they had drifted away from God, calling them to repent, to turn from their sinful ways. John was the herald announcing the arrival of the Saviour of the world. So what does this mean for us today? Well, we need to remember that God still keeps his promises. God kept his promise to rescue the Israelites and God will keep the promises he has made to rescue us when we are in difficulty. Maybe you're feeling down. Life can be tough at times and this year has been hard for many of us. When we're troubled, all we have to do is call on the name of Jesus. When we do, Jesus hears and will answer our cry for help. He is faithful. God has promised that all who trust and believe in Jesus will be saved, i.e. rescued from an eternity separated from God. That is a promise, and God cannot break the promises he makes. That promise is worthy of the highest praise. Thank you.